Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your all sign collective reading. We're just going to jump right in. We're going to see what the energy is here for you in love. So thank you, Spirit. What can you share with the collective in love? What do they need to know? All right. Okay, we got Spirit Speaks. This is also judgment uh, energy here. So this talks about the past. Now, this can talk about getting advice. Could also talk about someone from the past returning, you getting some sort of communication. But let's keep going before I say any more. You have loves, dis loves disguise. Okay, go beyond superficial looks and see who they truly are. Okay, so this may be somebody you were dealing with in the past that was superficial. Now, with the judgment energy, okay, I want to pull another card uh, because it can just talk about you learning from the past, somebody who wasn't real with you, somebody who was not... Um, honest with you you have frozen heart empathy and warmth melts barriers for true connections okay so frozen heart i feel like this is like distance here between the two you know you and someone here i feel like somebody still has a belief that this could work whether this is you or somebody that you are dealing with i feel like we need one more here Okay, we have hard climb. Okay, struggle. Yeah, there is someone I feel like you could be struggling about. So it could be a situation that happened from the past. Um, I'm going to say here too, this could be somebody who is seeking guidance or seeking, you know, praying. It actually came up in one of yesterday's readings that I did the collective reading. But I feel like there is someone that you feel maybe feel someone doesn't have a lot of empathy. I feel like there's two energies here. Okay, I'm feeling like uh, somebody who has a lot of empathy and someone who doesn't, somebody who was not real. I'm going to read it as the other person, but definitely with this hard climb, there's been a lot of uh, hard issues to deal with with this person. This also can be struggling with getting the truth about a situation, someone who has been maybe hiding that truth with that love's disguise. So let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what the energy shows here for you. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with the collective? I'm going to pull some uh, general energy here. Okay. <laughs> And then I'm going to see how this person sees you and how you see this person. Okay, we got the Four of Pentacles and the Wheel. You know what I'm really, I don't know why, but I'm channeling a stuck energy here. Okay, so it's like, I feel like with the Wheel, something, someone is holding back here. Things are not moving forward. Yeah, look what's on the bottom of the deck here. You also have here Judgment. So someone is holding back here, I feel... Um, in making some sort of decision. Let's get another card with that. And that's why things aren't moving forward. Someone's not being real in this connection. Either someone's not being open and honest or someone is not really expressing their true feelings here. It's a superficial energy. We have the Six of Wands. Let's keep going. What else does the collective need to know? What else does the collective need to know? Okay, yeah, five of cups, regret, loss, sadness, ace of wands, opportunity for growth, new beginnings, knight of swords, okay, page of wands, yeah. There is someone I feel that you are dealing with and you may be feeling like this person has been holding back that they have not been saying a whole lot. And the reason why they have not been saying a whole lot is because they feel like they definitely have regrets here. You got spirit talks. So I feel like this is someone who may be getting advice from someone. They may be talking to somebody else or they just may be keeping to themselves right now and really just trying to find their own guidance here. But I feel like this person has been holding back because I feel like this is someone who 
has not completely let go of this connection here and they're feeling at a loss. Now, what's interesting, so see love's disguise here. Someone's about to unveil. This is also an unveil energy. So someone who in the past, I feel like they weren't real with you. They were someone who acted very superficial. And the reason they acted superficial is because they feel like they wanted to play things safe. They were not comfortable being vulnerable or opening up to you. So you never really saw their true self, meaning their true feelings. They may not have been able to express to you what was really going on inside of them. This could be someone too who lied or covered up a situation. But I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune and this opportunity here that that's changing it's almost like the, they're, they're releasing the mask here because the next energy I see here is judgment and the Knight of Swords. This person's coming towards you and this is happening pretty quickly. So this uh, frozen heart is someone I feel that they were very cold. This is someone who may have acted very cold or very distant with you. And you know what's interesting here is I feel like with this frozen heart, I feel like they have a lot of love for you, but they never were able to show it. And I feel like you're melting their heart here because it says here, empathy and warmth melts barriers for a true connection. This is somebody you have a very true soulmate connection, some of you twin flame connection with. And I feel like this is someone who now is realizing your warmth and that you make this person happy. This may be somebody that you gave unconditional love to. And now this is someone who is regretting that they held back, that they could never really be real with you, be honest with you, or just really, you know, be in a place where they could feel vulnerable and safe and open up to you. Because I feel like this is someone who held back a lot because that's how they felt secure in in a connection or in a relationship and here's judgment this person is coming back around i feel here because they've had some time i feel to feel the loss without you some of you i feel like this person has either found some inner guidance or they they have talked to somebody here they have talked to some it could be a counselor it could be a friend it could be anybody here definitely picking up fire and air energy i'm not going to just go through all the signs here and here it is you have the six of wands and you have the page of wands somebody who i feel has felt that there have been a lot of challenges okay it may just be their own challenges you have the hard climb here so it's somebody who is coming towards you in truth and they're coming towards you, it feels like there could be a difficult decision or conversation that this person wants to have with you. But I'm also feeling that it could just be that this person has something that they want to be honest with you. But this is someone with the page of uh, wands, they already have an idea in in mind here. Okay, they're very optimistic. And they see the potential of growth here. It's almost, I feel, with that hard climb, they don't want to give up. This is someone who is, is definitely persevering. And they know that there's a difficult conversation to be had between the two of you. And I feel like a situation that with this frozen heart maybe has been in stagnation or there has been um, an energy here of limbo, they're coming towards you. King of Swords here tells me, again, they're coming towards you um, with some sort of truth. It's also an energy of head over heart. Okay? They're actually, too, being very logical about this. So this could be somebody who shows more with their actions than their words. And that would make sense here. Somebody who has definitely a very hard time being vulnerable. Okay, let's see how you see this person. How do you see this person? Oh, look at this. Yeah, you. I feel like you may already feel like you know this person's going to come back around. But it also can be that energy that you also want 
uh, to re rekindle this connection. But the other thing too, it could be also that you may be feeling like I can't shake off this connection. It's been very, very hard for me. There's something about it that is very powerful. It's a spiritual connection here. So you feel that you met this person for a reason. Let's see what else. Yeah, pause and reflect. Yeah, an energy of stagnation. I just talked about that. So you may feel like things are in stagnation with this person right now. And you're just kind of, you've been really thinking about the situation. And some of you have been trying to gain clarity over what the issues were or these struggles. Now, you also have here hurtful events. So you see that this person hurt you. You see that this person disappointed you. And I feel like a lot of you have tried not to dwell on this, but you've had a hard time letting go of it. So let's see how this person sees you. How does this person see you? Wow, magnetism. See, they're very, very drawn to your energy with that magnetism card. This is someone who I feel they also may feel like your energy is also very powerful, that you are in that energy where you can manifest and attract the things in your life that you want. How else does this person see you? Yeah, you have your unclear path. So they're feeling a little bit uncertain right now about where things could go. Why even if there is a, a door open there or the path is open, but it's also a hidden blessing. So they may also have, you know, if I go back to this empathy and this warmth, I said that I felt you were somebody who gave this person unconditional love. It may be that this person never had it before, right? Or maybe they didn't have it in a long time. They Maybe they became cold and bitter from a past loss or situation that they didn't feel was fair to them. And then you came along and you showed them unconditional love, but they didn't know how to deal with it. That's the strong energy that I'm, I'm feeling there. And so this unclear path is also an energy here of hidden blessings. So I feel like this person does feel like you are a blessing in their life. Let's get one more. Community. Yeah. This is someone wanting union with you, wanting to come together with you. This is someone who I feel they see you as definitely um, somebody important in their life. They see a lot of happiness with you. They see the potential of happiness, peace, joy. They see you as a big benefit in their life is what I'm getting. But I feel like too, they may see you right now as somebody who's going out, maybe meeting people, traveling, having fun, you know, maybe you have a lot of friends. So they see you as somebody who is also maybe they see you as social or they see you doing a lot of socialization right now. Okay. So I feel like this person, it's almost like somebody who may have come across or acted cold in the past. You've melted this person's heart. And I feel like they realize the unconditional love that you have given them. So let's get some untold, untold truths from your person. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What else does the collective need to know? Yeah, they ran here. They ran. And you know why they ran? Because, as I said before, this is someone who... There was something that this person was very bitter or cold about in the past, which put this person in that place of superficial. So they looked towards superficial things for their happiness. So they looked for out external things to make them happy. But they truly, because of the hurt and the pain and, and what they dealt with in the past, they never really, um, you know, they didn't love themselves. Okay, so this could be definitely somebody who sabotaged a relationship. 
Yeah, look, it came out. Look, it came out again, the Frozen card. So this is someone I feel who has been silent for a while, but they're wanting a second chance here. They're wanting a second chance. Yeah, loyalty. They may see you as somebody loyal too. Somebody who believed in them when maybe they didn't believe in themselves. This is someone I feel like they feel like they can trust you is really what I'm getting there. Let's see what else here. Two cards. I wish I could take back my words. So there may be something that this person thinks about that they said and they wish they could take it back. And you also have here influences, okay? So influences, this feels like there could be somebody or, or, or people around this person, could even be a third party situation that really influenced this person and the decisions that they made with you in the past. Yeah, they wouldn't intimacy here. They wouldn't let you get close to them in that way, okay? In an intimate way. But I'm also feeling here, some of you, this could be somebody who entertained a third party situation here. But it was superficial because this person was in the energy of superficial things in their life. And that's what they attracted. Pretend, yep. Pretend. The mask. They weren't really being their true self. And they probably pretended with you. And yeah, look, they're having the epiphany and the realization about you. They're starting to understand and awaken. This is an understand and awaken energy. Their heart's melting here. Their heart's melting. And it may even be that this person is seeing the signs, signs, synchronicities. Spirit is guiding this person. And it may be also be that this person is realizing that they never dealt with the past. They never dealt with their healing, their past issues. Some of you, this third party could have been a karmic, right? Take it how it resonates. But you, someone, this person's going through an awakening. And you're going to hear, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. Because you are one of the few in this person's life who has impacted this person significantly. So I hope, uh, very deep reading, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful uh, rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.